Hi guys, UK Simmer here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. Um, so if you remember in Life is Strange 2 episode 1, at the very end of when I finished playing episode 1, I did a special episode where we kind of had a look at all of the collectibles and where to find them. So I thought about doing that again because you guys actually really liked it. So the first collectible is actually at the very beginning of the episode. Um, just after you've uh, played with Daniel and you've got him to lift, you know, the rocks and the cans and you've filled the canteens up and you walk up to, up the hill and just behind this snowman you'll see this big tree. If you have a look up in the tree there is a metal box. Now if you look at it once and then if you press the E key if you're on PC you can ask Yo, Daniel, Daniel to lift. So that is then the collectible number one. Um, so Daniel will lift it up and bring it down. And that is your collectible number one, which is called Back in Time. Awesome. Can we keep it? Sure. That's pretty old school. Okay, so amongst the collectibles, you do have uh, draw a sketch um, achievement that you can unlock. There are three different sketches that you can do within episode two. Um, you only need to do one of them to unlock the achievement, but you can do all three if you want. So the first location is when you're at grandma's house and you have literally just finished breakfast. Grandma is sitting over here in the corner. If you come over to the other corner by this chair, you'll see that there is a spot that you can relax and draw. Um, it is the same as before where you look up, you hold and observe, and then you look down to your paper and you draw the image and you just move your mouse around. Um, the other location is literally straight after this one. You can get a picture in the same location with Daniel um as well so i will show you a uh, screenshot of that um as well i should have memorized where i'm going um and then also you've got the christmas market uh where you can draw um the christmas market and everything like that so they are the three drawings that you can do so you have grandma then you have Daniel, and then you have uh, the Christmas market uh, pictures as well. So, like I said, you only need to do one of them to unlock the achievement. Um, but if you're like me, you like to do all three of them, then that is fine as yeah. well. Pretty good. Talk to me at night when you get home. Okay, got it. Okay, so for collectible number two, just after you've done the drawing of Grandma and Daniel, you need to head upstairs and you need to go to the train track. Um, now you have to do a couple of sequences here for it to work, um, but basically you need to switch, uh, go to the train set and play with it. And then you need to switch um, the track to the right and then you need to go to the refill station. Once you've done that, set the track back to forward and then it will go to the big tunnel towards the end. Daniel will then prompt you to say that there was something in there. Um, so let it loop again. You can speed the track up, um, the train up, sorry, um, and then it will go through again. You need to um, interact with the station and get the train to stop. And that is when you'll pick up the piece of paper um and that will be your unlockable uh, achievement uh, number two which is family business okay so collectible number three is the very next day um when you wake up and you find that daniel has left a message on the sketchboard saying that he's over at the neighbors and grandma and grandpa have gone to church um, so what you want to do is before you go actually into the house, if you come around to the back of the house and you come to this snowman, if you take a look first. Looks like someone paid the high price here. And then when you look at it again, you can pick up the beer cap. At this point, 
Keep which coming. is then your collectible number three, which is Bad Santa. Okay, so unlockable um, number four, um, which is just after uh, you enter the house with um, Captain Spirit and Daniel. You need to set all of these uh, figures into villains and um, heroes. So the villains are yeah. the ki uh, the car Maybe. and uh, these ones, and then the rest are all heroes. So Dino's a hero, the bear is a hero, Private is a hero, and Warrior is a hero. And then you need to look up to him. So you need to get this 100% correct for you to achieve this okay. unlockable. So this you? is unlockable yeah, number right. four, which is you the heirloom. It's an interstellar traveler. I gave the other one to Daniel. Wow. Thanks, Chris. And awesome. there you have it. You're Achievement unlocked heirloom. Okay. So that is your Let collectible you number four. Okay, so for collectible number five, you need to be at the Christmas market. And you will see a young girl playing on the guitar. You need to wait for her to finish singing. Uh, what I did was I just roamed around the market for a little bit, uh, investigated, and as I went to leave, she kind of spoke to us. Her name is Cassidy, um, and you need to have a lengthy conversation with her. Um, she'll bring in her friend and the dog, and then once they leave, uh, if you look behind her, uh, on the floor, there is a guitar pick. Uh, so if you go ahead and pick that up, that is your uh, achievable, uh, collectible, whatever you want to call it, number five, uh, which is called Teenage Angus. So that is your fifth collectible. Okay, so the last collectible, collectible number six, is when you find the key. Uh, if you don't know where the key is, the key is actually in the grandma's cardigan pocket, which is in the laundry basket in the bathroom. So what you need to do is you need to come into this room and you need to go to the CD player. When you get to the CD player, you click on play and you realise it's not actually plugged in. So what you need to do is you need to plug it in, obviously. So you need to go over to here and plug in the CD player. And then go back over to the CD player and go to try and play it again. You realize it's still not working. Okay, fine. Um, so he will open the CD um place and you will find a train ticket so, um that was Daniel's bought by Karen's mum uh, and that is your Let's unlockable number six which is small town blues um and that is your final Hope collectible uh within this uh you will also uh unlock your private journey uh and you will unlock Free spirit, which is uh, to finish your episode. Once you finish the whole episode, you will unlock free spirit. Uh, so that is all of the collectibles for episode two in Life is Strange 2. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Do leave your comments down below if this has been really, really helpful for you guys. Um, and if you want to keep seeing these kind of things more in the future, um let me know so yeah please do hit that subscribe button it really does mean the world to me and i will see you all in my next video bye guys